Hello folks, welcome back to the garage. Right, and tonight you join me, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm just going to kick the rattage a little bit. Um, something a bit daft, bit of an idea I had riding home. Now, I've got some of this here scrim, which you can buy for pennies on eBay. And uh, I just kind of thought a text would finish. Been looking at eBay a few times, looking at YouTube, and seeing people putting textured finishes on rat bikes. There's a Japanese rat bike I saw, the guys used cement, which looks a bit weird, but it's really rat, and it's really ragged, and I like it. But I'm not going to use that, I'm just going to try something, something original for myself. So I thought I got loads and loads from over the years of fiberglass tissue, and I thought perhaps make a, a textured coating but all it would look like is you turn the bodywork inside out and it's all fiberglass and I think that'd look a bit lame but I've had this bit of scrim hanging around forever it's just non-military civilian fun novelty scrim um, and what I've done just you joined me a little bit into it because I just thought I'd have a little go at it before I showed anyone in case it was rubbish um, it's not too bad a bit of spray adhesive whack it over there use follow the instructions wait till it's touch dry and then this stuff's great because unlike ordinary cloth, it doesn't crease. You can stretch it and it moves. And that's on there. Now obviously, that won't last. That's not going to stay there for more than five minutes. It will start to peel off and it will get ragged and tatty. And yeah, that might be a bit rat, but that's not what I want. The idea with this is different. I'm going to use that as a texture. It's not going to stay green. Don't like the combat look. Doesn't do it for me. Uh, I'm going to use resin and hardener. And I'm just going to literally paint over the top of it and make it a solid surface a textured solid surface and then squirt it with some black so it's just a black netting surface over the side of the bike don't know, it might look rubbish, might not but whatever it is, I'm going to have a go at it so that's the first bit, that's gone quite well pretty easy second one, I'm going to just do this side round to the front because all I've got is enough to do the front of the fairing and that, but I can buy this, I'm going to buy a couple on eBay so I'll do one finishing it on the tank. I think it'll look quite smart on the tank. So you can't use a cloth because you get creases. It doesn't stretch. And yes, you use stretchy cloth, which that is. So that's what it is. That's all that's up tonight. I'm just going to have a little play with that and see what it looks like. Stick around, stay tuned, see what happens. First thing to do, get some glue on there. First on with spray glue. You can do all sorts with this because it stretches quite well. I have no idea what this is going to look like when it's done. But that's what we do breaking new ground. Something a bit different. And there's the first quarter piece done. Just pressed in. Pressed into the glue underneath, brought around there, just trimmed that in. Got a little bit more trimming to do, trim it around the light under the screen. But it's just tucked up underneath, little vent hole there, just trimmed in. And all the glue, all the spray glue it's for is to hold it in place for now. And once that's kind of set a bit, I shall just go over it with resin and hardener and harden it all off. And that again will just cure in a matter of minutes. And then it's Squirt over with some black. Different, unusual idea, my little rubbish. But that's what rat's all about. Something a bit daft and silly. Let's see what the other side looks like. I guess with it, like all things, with a little bit of practice, you get a little bit better at it. This is just a load of fun, really. It's just a bit of fun. Alright. Cut a little hole 
for the indicator. This stuff, man, it doesn't cut very easy. That's just why it's quite robust. That's it. Stretch it over, tuck it in. Alright, so there's one square meter scrim net just glued on. Sort of folded in, neatly molded into the contours, nice and firm, and it's pretty solid. So this is just now going to get resin so it sticks completely, becomes hard. Nice and odd. Let's get cracking. See what that makes it look like. Okay. I think that's about right. And if this is going to be enough. We shall see. And yes, this is the only brush I got. <laughs> I could have used a smaller one if I had one. Just dabbing it in, saturate the cloth in it, and have all the tatty bits off the edge and just shave them off afterwards with a grinder once they is odd. What are odd? Well, that's curing. Now it's as well, which I wouldn't, wasn't aware of, is that this stuff soaks up incredible amounts of resin. But I guess that's the nature of it. I shall paint over it anyway, so it doesn't have to have too much, just enough to stiffen it up, stick it on. Okay, that's got it all dabbed with a reasonable amount of resin. Obviously not having done this before, this is just purely a bit of experimental fun. I've used a whole half a pint of resin and it's gonna take a lot more. That was eight pounds, so I'm gonna try and find a, a cheaper source. That was just like local car accessory shop. Expensive oh boys. Um, and I don't want to be paying that sort of money again. I've got to do the tank still. And I'll do the tail section as well. Right the way back in it. So I've got to get some more scrim. And I've got to get some more spray glue. Where are we? Spray glue. That's nearly out. So a few materials to get. But that's the first half. Kind of fender and front half of the fairing. I suppose that's probably getting on for half the bodywork. Probably as good as... So I need at least another one of them, if not perhaps one and a half, just to be sure. And then this already hard. So that's now a solid finish. And it's still a bit soft there because it's still going off. But I'm going to just squirt a bit of black over that. That will harden it off even more. Nice copious layer of paint in it. And then we've done that. Let's see what it looks like.
because I guess this is going to harden off a little bit as well. Making it even more hard. <laughs> what a laugh. And there it is. The coat of black. It's kind of like chain mail. Didn't expect it to look like that. So once it's one colour, chain mail bike. Different. So I say this is what this whole ethos of the rat bike thing is about. Just doing something different. It's a bit daft, it's a cheap old bike, keep saying it, doesn't cost anything. Bit of fun, it's kind of gone a bit patchy on the front, that could be where there was DPM patterning. It's a bit different, a bit interesting, looks like it's got a knitted cardi. There we go, so we get some more scrim, I'll get some more resin and some more spray glue. So it won't be straight away, but that's the front half done. I have to have this ready for work every morning. It's a completely used bike every day. None of it's ever off the road. And I'll do the back half when I get the next materials. That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in and watching Delway's Garage. See you next time.